The Technologies of Harmonization and Enlightenment of Your Personality, Part 6. Good morning, dear reader. We are continuing with the theme of betrayal. It's common to consider betrayal to be a very heavy experience. No one wants to be betrayed or to see oneself as a betrayer. Perhaps you will be surprised to hear me say that in reality, you betray yourself every minute without seeing it. Moreover, you receive a benefit when you are being betrayed. What kind of a benefit? That's what we're going to explore today. Loyalty is a sprout of betrayal. I'm afraid to accept this part in myself, the betrayer. Something holds me back. Something pushes the thought away. It happens because I, not considering myself a betrayer, constantly betray without seeing it. When I betray, I always look for a scapegoat and for the explanations why I was betrayed. I do not even allow a thought that it was I who betrayed to arise. What does it mean to see one's negative part? In a given example, it is a one-sided belief that prevents you from seeing it. I am not a betrayer, you say. Another opposite side of this duality is in your subconsciousness, and it is a betrayer. You happen to be both. How do you betray? You betray in the same way you manifest loyalty. In Russian language, those two words, loyalty and betrayal, have a same common root. Can your mind comprehend that? If creation in this reality is carried through verbalization, thought, and action, then how does the subconscious part create if there is no thought, verbalization, or actions? Is it another paradox? Do I understand it right? One side of duality always happens to be betrayer in relation to another side? They both betray each other every second. Right now, not talking about your betraying side, you betray yourself. Pay attention here. This is a paradox. Everything here in this dual reality is paradoxical. You are equally truthful as you are a liar. You are equally loving and full of hate. But such a perception of oneself cannot be comprehended in the matrix of one-sided perception. When you start to see yourself holistically, you break the habitual for your matrix of one-sided perception. You break your sleep. Then, you are unable to play the game of sleep in one's waking hours anymore. You can play, but you will see it as the game that you yourself create. Not seeing it, you play without accepting responsibility, and you suffer because of it. For example, you are a betrayer. You receive an experience in betraying. So who decides to tell about it or not to tell? I do not see such an experience. Do you have acquaintances that betrayed you? Yes. And they are you. Their experience is your experience, but you do not see it. You see it in them, and you blame them for this experience. But if you were to see it in yourself, you would not be able to blame them anymore. The usual and habitual working system of the old matrix of perception is to blame others for what you do not see in yourself. In reality, you will not be able to blame other people when you see this experience in yourself. Can you slow down? The mind is getting mixed up. The habitual model of perception is being broken. It's habitual for you to blame someone feeling pride at the same time. Pride of not being a betrayer. You blame other betrayers that betrayed you. I, on the other hand, tell you that you are this betrayer, and the experience of the betrayal is also yours. If you were to see a betrayer in yourself, you would not be able to blame those who, as it appeared to you, betrayed you. Right now, we can observe what happens to a human creature when he is shown two sides of himself. What happens to you now? 
There is something else here. I feel a betrayer in myself, but I don't want to be one. I cannot accept this betrayer in me. Yes, if you accept your inner betrayer in yourself, you will not be able to blame others for betraying you, and you will not be able to experience pride, which is based on you not being the betrayer. Everyone carries pride, the mechanism of action of which I just showed you. So what, what is one left with? Nothing. Then I cannot be a human being that sounds too proudly, according to Kipling. This face is a loud cry of the pride of the ego. In order for your ego to be strong and proud, it is necessary for you to humiliate other people. And based on comparison, you will appear to be dressed in all whites. I speak simply. Do you understand this simple language? This understanding depends on whether you accept opposite sides of yourself or not. You need to accept every negative side of your personality. Then you will not be able to blame others for having these sides. And moreover, you will not be able to have self-pity. When you're being betrayed, you revel in self-pity and pride from blaming a human being that betrayed you. How is one to manifest differently then? It looks like a total passivity will follow. You need to change the old system of perception of yourself and others. You cannot do it yet. You have a gut feeling that Pin said something that is right, but you do not want to do it. Pin talks, but you persist in not doing anything. If you start to do it, it will be the end of your exclusivity and pride. Your ego does not want to end like that. Therefore, your ego has to blame me. It is Pint who wants to end my ego. Therefore, Pint is bad. However, that's what you are coming here for. There is no end to it. It is close, but it cannot come. Your existence can be called close to the end. You run and run after this end, but as soon as it gets close and visible, you either hide or run back. I describe what is the way it is, and it gives you a certain impression. You feel that it's right, but your ego says, no, we're not going to do this. One has to do something. That's what I'm asking of you act. But you are afraid of this action as it's going to be the end of your one-sided ego and associated with its state of a fight. Recall the instances when you consider yourself betrayed. Can you see in those betrayals the fulfillment of your own desires? Do you see how you betray yourself proclaiming one thing about yourself and closing your eyes on the opposite? 